welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, are you a brainwashed Christian? Put them in mind to be subjected to principalities and to powers, to be magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior towards man, appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he had saved us, by the washing and regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Titus 3, 1-5 through 5. Have you ever been accused or heard of another Christian being accused of being brainwashed? It usually happens when you're trying to make a stand on biblical issues and others don't understand or agree with the change that has taken place in your life. Many usually respond with some witty comeback like, no, I'm not brainwashed, you are. And then they walk off feeling like the other person won the moment. But hold up just a minute. In actuality, we are brainwashed. Every time we read the Bible or listen to a preacher preach, our mind is being cleansed from the negative and corrupt influences of the world. Romans 12 verse 2 tells us not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed. And then it gives us instructions on how to accomplish this task by the renewing of your mind. Before we came to Christ, our thoughts and attitudes and opinions were formed and influenced by a worldly value system that is dramatically opposed to the values of the Bible. Titus 3 verse 5 tells us that we are not saved by our works of righteousness, but by the washing of regeneration that comes by the word of God and daily renewing of the Holy Ghost. What does it mean to be conformed to this world and being transformed from the world? The word conform literally means to be molded into the same shape. When we conform to the world, we are taking on the shape and the image of the world. To be transformed is to undergo a complete metamorphosis as a caterpillar transform into a butterfly. As we grow in God and our opinions become more like His, this means we may have an opinion today that will be much different tomorrow. And when the Word and the Spirit washes us just a little more, through the blood of Jesus, we have become a new creation. And through His Word and Spirit, we keep our minds washed and squeaky clean. So the next time somebody accuses you of being brainwashed, you can hold your head up high and say, Thank God, my brain has been washed by His Word and His Spirit. Thought of the day. Every time we read the Bible or listen to a preacher preach, our mind is being cleansed from the negative and corrupt influences of the world. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.